this is all going to leave you the shipyard escape place. Hot Wheels place at Hefler Motel. I think this playset is cool because you can switch this yellow ramp thing on the bottom. Okay. And if you switch it this, if you switch it to the left, then you can make, then you lift the ramp up and the car goes, car goes into the boat. Okay, so you got a boat there. Then the car goes into the boat. <laughs> That's fine. Did you see me do a review and not flub up somewhere? Then the car goes into the boat and then drives away. Could you give us a good look and description of the boat? Bring it up. Bring it up to right under where my hand is. Show the bottom with the wheels so and explain how that's how you don't need water for it. You don't even need water for it. Because it's got wheels, huh? Okay. All right. There's this little hole in the boat, right here, where it can connect into this little peg, so you can just slide it in. If you slide it in all the way, it won't, it won't, will not dry. You have to slide it in right up on top of the bump that's right here. If you switch the ramp, the yellow thing to the right, you can lift the ramp up with the car on it and then make the car go into this crane. Then you swing it all the way up to the giant bu bucket and then it drives in. Then, it, then when you open up the gate, it goes into the boat and drives away. Cool. Plus, I think this is really cool. You can use this like little thing to push down, and then the cars on that the ramp go out from underneath the bottom. So what? Those cars just drive away in the water? Because that's supposed to be a boat there. It's heading out to the water. So those cars are just going to go straight into the water. Now, does it have any uh, features that you could connect other play sets to it? You can connect one track to here, plus you can take this thing off by pressing this little, this little button. Okay. And then pulling, oops, pulling it out, and then you can connect the track to here, which can connect to another Hot Wheels play set. Okay, cool. Plus... Did it come with any cars? Yes, it came with this, this car. It came with this red car. Okay. And it even has a name on the bottom. It's called the Night Shifter. Okay. Plus, th this spot is a really good spot for holding an extra car. Okay. If you try to fit two in, you cannot push this thing down because it'll get stuck like this. The, the car will get stuck. Plus, you can't push it down. That, otherwise, it might break. So you only can park one car there. Yeah. Even 
if you wanted to, you could even try to connect this to here. And then the bolt could go like this. And then you could make the car go down like this. Why is it, why, why is it tilted there, bud? It's at an angle. The place that it's leaning. That was, that's what was causing your... Yeah, why is it to toppy like that there? Wasn't doing that before. Oh, by having the that. Yeah. And we even have some fake cams and rope pieces here. All in all, any other features you kind of wish it had, or? Uh, I wish that there was like spring on this that could make the boat launch further further or faster oh so so a release mechanism in the boat when the car hits it triggers the spring and it launches it yes okay yeah then see there's good insight from mattel there hanging out of the side where you can just take it and then open it up without the car hitting your hand. This has been a Toytastic Playtime with me, Logan. Bravo. High five. Your first review.